I started using Dub about six months ago and realized immediately that there was something about it that no other program had. It was easy to use. It had the potential to me to make sales, not be a video. It had the potential to me to gain engagement, emotional engagement, and convey a message that my text could never. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Rev Show. I'm Rob. And I'm Ruben. And we have Jeffrey Gittimer. We had a sit down with him. We're so excited to bring this information to you because it's so powerful and you can start using it every day. Now, one of the things that Jeffrey talks about is that he actually closed over $300,000 using Dub in less than six weeks. And in this video, we're going to show you how he did it. Like anybody else? Yeah. Another Dub notification. People are responding to the video that we sent. Okay. That's real time. In this last month, in the month of May, I made $350,000 from using my dub instead of sending a proposal. Actually in harmony with sending a proposal. And there's a strategy to this. The strategy is I don't send a proposal and add a video. I send a video and add a proposal. And that is so unorthodox. And I start out by saying, Look, I have a boring proposal that's attached, but it's not quite self-explanatory. Let me explain what happens after you decide that I'm your guy. And it worked. 250000 and 100000 and this month will be 500000 By making videos that are compelling, that are emotionally engaging, and that hit the customer in the head, the heart, and the wallet. All at once. And all because I decided to take video to the next level. Now, luckily, I've been in the studio since 1998, so I'm not uncomfortable with shooting video. But I will tell you that 97% of salespeople are not good at video, which means even if it's 74%, I'm ahead of my competitors without doing a damn thing. I'm, my price isn't lower. Right. My prices are high. Yeah. That's the best part. You make a profit. But I'm ahead in terms of emotional engagement. I'm ahead in terms of getting them to respond to me where others might not. Because this video has a secret weapon. The secret weapon is you click the reply button and the customer sends you a video. When I get that video, it's 24 karat gold every single time. Because I've made the emotional connection and the customer gets it, likes it, and clicks the respond button. So, and I just wanted to make that introduction as whatever we're going to do together, I want to make sure that people understand that I am not a spokesperson, I'm a customer. Humor. It's one of the most important things out there that Jeffrey talks about, and it absolutely creates a listening environment that optimizes your chance to close that sale and open up a new relationship. Let's listen to Jeffrey talk about it. I have said to many a CEO sitting down talking to them, walk in, sit down and go, you want to buy now or you want to hear the pitch? And it's funny. And they go, well, we're probably going to do something. I say, great, let's go eat. Why do I want to pitch somebody that's already bought? And I'm there to have a good time. I'm there to make the other person feel comfortable, comfortable enough to do business with me. And if I get that as a net result of what I'm trying to convey, everyone wins because I'm going to help them become better people, not just salespeople. And when the CEO gets that or the vice president, president of sales or whoever, then they're my customer. The cool part about Dub is you can put your script when you shoot so you can just kind of read it. Teleprompter. Oh, yeah, that's great. It's such a feature. And then you have to practice. Yeah. Just relax. Right. Because when you're yourself, you don't have to remember. Right. You don't have to remember anything you said or anything you did. Another important point is to be prepared. It's one of the mantras of Jeffrey. All of his different sales situations, they had one thing in common. He was always well-researched and he was always well-prepared. Let's check this out. I have been able to close a lot of sales in my life. Very blessed, very fortunate. All because I'm prepared, I target, and I open properly. It's not the close, it's the open. I wrote the little platinum book of Kachin. And NCR, the cash register company, was one of my customers. And I found out that John Addison was the founder of NCR who bought the patent for the cash register in 1880. And I'm given the seminar for, for NCR. And I thought, this guy's the grandfather of sales. I should write that book. So I went in, I called the CEO and said, hey, I'd like to make an appointment with you to talk about writing about the life and times of John Patterson. Now, when you go to a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, you're taught, go in with nothing. I just flown in to Dayton, Ohio. I got a drag bag. I got a briefcase and the president comes out and says, can I help you? I go, sure. Now I got the CEO of a Fortune 500 company dragging my bags. Visual and I say, I want to write a book on John Patterson. I said, here's the deal. You give me 50 grand. I'll write the book. I'll own the book and keep the book, but I'll get you 10,000 copies of the book when it's finished. You can distribute it to your customers, whatever you want. And whatever else you need, I'll sell to your cost. Mary, 
I need a check made out to Jeffrey Gittimer for $50,000. It was a 15-minute meeting. It would have been shorter, but it took that long to get the check. I walked out of the meeting with a $50,000 check because I was prepared. The guy already knew me. He had seen me perform. He dragged my bag. I unorthodoxly went into this meeting looking nice, but no tie or anything. And a year later, he had the book. But a year later, I was doing seminars for them all over the country. They had a new CEO. I'm at the Cannes Film Festival, main theater, doing a talk. Don't close sales. Open sales. Be prepared. Have your target. Know exactly what you want to say. Know exactly what you want the outcome to be. And walk in knowing what you want the outcome to be. And then have a good time. Tell me something I don't know. What we're going to see here with Jeffrey talking about this is it is an important part of when you're prospecting someone, you want to really get them engaged. So make it about them, not about you. They're you know? taught a way to do it. And that way to do it is someone's opinion of how to do it. And for the most part, it's not correct. Mm-hmm. Memorizing something, having a system, we're trying to do things that the customer perceives as uncomfortable. And everybody has their way of selling, but you can't tell me how to sell your way. You need to tell me how to sell in a way that I feel comfortable enough to do it. So all I want to be able to do is convey a message and transfer the message to where the customer says or the salesperson says, I get it. I agree with it. Authenticity comes with believing and practice. Now, in every video that I've recorded with Jeffrey, he's worn a different t-shirt. And what's great about this is that it's his signature. We all have a signature, something that makes us unique, something that makes us different. It could be our hair, it could be our shirt, it could be our shoes. The problem with shoes is that they're not in the video. So find your signature and be different. The next topic is gonna be emotionality. And this is one of the core principles of being a human being, is connecting with emotion. And Jeffrey has been monumentally successful using emotionality, and it's something he truly connects with. The challenge that a salesperson has is getting to the decision maker Mm -hmm. and then getting that decision maker involved in the decision and not like writing you off in the first two seconds. This is the real situation. We've just come through two years of hell. Salespeople didn't know what to do, but the outcome has a silver lining. Virtual has become normal. And video has become normal. It's not something that you did as an extra. It's now something that's basically a requirement. Right. So what will happen is there will be more distance connections. Mm-hmm. There will be more communicative, emotional messages sent. And it'll be a chance for a salesperson to gain a competitive advantage where he or she never had it before. Imagine being able to use this medium, the video medium, to convey a message to someone who is both startled and engaged, who is both smiling and willing. And when you have that, you've created your own competitive advantage environment, and that's where sales is headed. Sales is headed to be in a direction that's more compelling and more value-driven that you can prove. All value propositions should be burned. There is no validity in a value prop but you can create a value message. And that value message is perceived by the customer as being authentic and accurate. That's the whole deal. Think about this for a second. Who would you rather do business with? A friend or someone that you don't really like? The key on this point is that people want to do business with their friends, with people that they like. Telling a story is one of the most important parts of sales. Telling a tale where something is truly connectable, where people have shared experiences and can relate to something is a powerful tool to have in your sales. So as mentioned before, Jeffrey has closed over 300,000 dollars using dub and using video and here is just a quick reminder people make a connection with video they feel like they can see you they can believe you and they can trust you and when that takes place it makes the sales process so much more efficient when you want to increase your sales and you want to decrease your sales cycles use dub and use video here's what jeffrey has to say about that i did three hundred fifty thousand dollars last month with two videos And I'm going to give you the secret to this because it's really important at this moment in time for whatever you're trying to do. Video creates emotional connection, period. And text will not. And audio will not. Understand what you're trying to shoot before you shoot it. Transfer the message and you'll get it. Attract with message. Engage with value. Connect with emotion. Solve proof. This is how you make a sale. So everybody out there, if you liked this video, do us a huge favor, put a comment in the section below. You could even put a dub video in the comments, which is pretty cool. Give us some likes, and what do they need to do to the channel? They have to... Well, consider subscribing and click the little notification bell, and don't forget to put Y-E-S if you were feeling the vibe of our video. See you at the next one.
Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. What's true? I'm so happy to be stuck with you. You remember that song? I do not. <laughs> Huey Lewis. Well, oh, when you're singing it, I don't really think of Huey Lewis. No offense. I'm <laughs> sorry. Thank you. <laughs> All right, there we go.